Imperador is the world's top-selling brand in terms of quality sold in its cut brand industry. Its annual sales range from 250 to 300 million liters of annual output, making its competitors look small. Furthermore, Imperador's footprint across the Philippines is not the only driver of its success. It has reaped far and wide across different segments from North America to Europe and across Asia. Moreover, its success has driven it not only to become a single-branded alcohol producer, but also to acquire major names, such as Bodega San Bruno in Spain, to Scotch whiskey producer known as White & McKay, which it purchased in 2014 for a whopping 430 million euros. This enabled the company to own one of the largest brands in the United Kingdom, one that is even older than Imperador, as it was established way back in 1882. Its latest purchase led them to buy many different brands from Beam Suntory, giving them access to brands such as Harvey's, Tres Sepas, Terry Centenario, and so much more. Some of them are even their own respected bestsellers. With such an enormous rise, how did Imperador become so huge? Well, the company is even relatively new. It was launched just in 1990, but it only took less than two decades to become the bestseller in the world. It has held that title since 2006. Amongst the reason for its success, however, might be due to the company's parent. Imperador is owned by Alliance Global Group, the same company that owns other major businesses such as Mega World Corporation, Golden Arches Development Corporation, which owns McDonald's Philippines, and so much more. Due to this access to an abundant amount of money and experience led by the famous Tan family, it took no less than a few decades for it to become a global phenomenon. But while that may be relatively true, we cannot also forget the culture of alcohol within the Philippines. It had successfully tapped the market, and through proper market study, it had launched itself to become a national to a global brand. Anyway, what do you think? 